What's going on, Zero Magnum X? Uh, I finally got these in. They're the uh, Draft Box 5 Divine Multiverse. I ordered them, oh geez, like almost three months ago or something. But I got them at a fairly cheap price compared to what they are now. Uh, so it's a positive. So we have an opening for today. Uh, I just want to address something really fast. You might have noticed that there's been like less consistent content lately. I mean, I know I haven't been exactly consistent on that content but that part of that's because of what's going on in the world right now and uh, if unless you live under a rock you know what that means um, with the uh, death of George Floyd and everything else and so I this channel isn't to be political or like a justice kind of channel or anything like that where I get into topics that affect the world that where I share my personal views and everything like that it's a dedicated car channel but at the same time it will affect me and I'm sure other content creators with the situation going on so I just want to give that a uh, a statement because it has affected me it should affect me it should affect everybody uh, it's an important situation going on and it's it's global so just something to think about uh, with content creators. We may not always be like as motivated, especially for the smaller ones like this channel, where you know we're not doing it for money. We're doing it for enjoyment for you guys, uh, and it isn't a job for us. You know, in fact, there are other um, other companies. That's the word I was looking for that are making money off of me because of using songs and what have you and it says your money or yeah your video can't be monetized it's my money i don't know why i said that anyway without further ado since that's out of the way after these two minutes let's get to the box opening and uh yeah this probably shouldn't take too too long i've been looking forward to getting these uh super cool product and there we go get the factory ceiling off just do both to make it easier. But I figured, especially for the price I paid of these, it was worth getting them. Uh, I got it from Gamer Nerds. I had to wait longer for the restock, but uh, like I said, I think they're around a hundred and some dollars now and I got them less than a hundred each and then we have the uh, Zeno leader which is cool kind of generic uh, draft leader because you're supposed to draft with this set for those who don't know uh, and that's the entire point but we're just going to do this like a booster box opening times two it will be a longer video because DBS and plus I talked for like two minutes but again oh I think it warrants concern that box just careened off of the table. Sorry about that. Get rid of this extra cardboard so we can toss the cards in. And uh, let's get started here. I'm uh, going to do this. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the opening. Like I said, I do it for fun more than anything. I'm not going to go over every single card because DBS has a lot of cards in a pack. But we have uh, the 7 drop Bergamo Rare to start things off. I think we're just going to do it like this kind of. I'll slide the packs of, off over to the side here. And let's adjust. There we go. So now we can be comfortable. Yeah, uh, hopefully everybody's enjoying uh, 
cards as we reopen in the United States. I think our area today is going in the green. I don't know how many of you out there are, but we sure are. And that's a good start. Uh, Obani after image slash. I think I said that right. I know that card like rose up in price fairly quickly and is useful, so that's a positive. I haven't been super involved with the DBS meta, uh, mostly because of shops being closed and everything. Internal energy shift, okay. So I'm still kind of relearning the game a little bit. Not that I'm too far off. You saw my last Dragon Ball video was uh, like my shop qualifying deck. So it hasn't changed that much. Although like that leader did get a major errata where the draw power is gone. Uh, Scrice, I think still good. But I talked to some people who are better at the game than I am. And they're saying that it's not even that great now. And I'm like, oh, of course not. So we'll see what happens in the future. And it looks like uh, Protector of the People is our super rare extra card. I think these are one per box, if I'm not mistaken. So cool card. Uh, I like yellow. So even though I ran blue-green, and I've been on blue-green for quite some time, yellow is where I uh, started out at. And uh, amphibious assault, C comfy, comfy, sure, comfy. There's an R. Okay. Probably some sub character that I'm not familiar with. I'm sure he's important, but I know the main cast. Oh. So we have a Great Priest, Herald of Deliverance. I know that's one of the cheaper ones. Still not horrible. I mean, I'm enjoying getting super rares, but it goes against like our account of getting some of the better cards. I'm after like the uh, Bergamo and other things. So yeah, there's that. Oh, okay. Uh... Reverse foil, which is cool. And then we have ultrasonic exchange. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we will do this here, I suppose. I think we will take the commons and actually put them in the box. Make it a little easier. Because I forgot we have the... Uh, I think they're called... Destruction rares or something. They're the angels, so we'll put them over here. I know the foil, reverse foils, or whatever you want to call them, are off screen, uh, but I only have so much room, so especially whenever I zoomed in for everybody. Okay, uh, Kettle Pesla, sure, Sonic Justice. And uh, Jiren. All right. I know the six drop rare that has that guy on it is uh, pretty, uh, pretty expensive for a rare. And uh, Genos Bird of Prey. For our super rare. I don't really play red, but maybe it's useful. Double strike, deflect. And other stuff. I'm not going to read it too much on camera. I'm sure most people are familiar with what that card is by now. Given that this is a long overdue video. Because of wait time. Okay, uh, Annalisa, the Towering Atrocity. Not bad. I hear that one's pretty good, so. There's at least, there was at least a good amount of talk around that card when it hit, so. Probably for the Mono Black Boo deck that's going around, I think that's what it would be for. Uh, if I'm wrong, I apologize, but. 
and probably for like the actual deck that it's part of. Okay, reverse uh, Hamilla, and uh, not even a scratch, which is like the most. I think that might be the most expensive rare in the set. It's that or the uh, Justice guy. Keto Pelsa, sure. Weird name. Alrighty. And uh, Topo Justice Forsaken is our rare. Weird we haven't gotten a single uh, like angel rare yet. I wonder what ones we'll get. Because I think they're promised like three per box or something. Unless they change something in this print run. Uh, okay, Energetic Frenzy Kefla for our rare. And Android 17 Rebel Reinforcements. Oh, that's weird. We haven't gotten an Angel Rare yet. I mean, we still got a good amount of packs to go, but... Like, we're on the second half of the box. So it's just strange. Let's just clumping with these. But that'd be kind of weird for disproportionately uh, doing that with the draft. Oh, another extra card. Usually they're only one per box, but we got two. Uh, Pretty Black Hole. I actually like this card. And it's one of the cheaper ones, too, so that's a positive. Uh, Saiyan Shield Sun Gohan. I think, yeah, this is one of the more rares I wanted, so I'm happy about that. I'm a fan of what it does. I don't know how useful it is in the meta right now, but I am a fan. Alright, and I am uh, flipping through the comments on the second box, I'm not going to do that, we're going to go straight to the back two cards, uh, because it will be the second box. Okay, there's one of our uh, Angel Warriors, we got sadly the 5 drop, uh, but I didn't have it yet, so I'm not going to complain, and uh, Universe 9 Assemble, so not terrible. Not one of the pricier ones. I'm hoping for the red green one. Uh, not because of the price tag, although some people may say, uh, yeah, you are. Uh, it's actually because we have a red green Surge Brawly deck. And I think that card is fantastic in it. And then we just got the uh, that red green uh, promo SS3 Gohan. That seems kind of nuts. Okay, uh, Mirage Maker Shanza, sure, and Rubalt. Okay. Universe Survival stuff. Like Tournament of Power and all that good stuff. But yeah, like I said, in the next box, I'm going to skip over the commons and what have you and just go straight to the uh, the foils and better. Okay, so we got uh, Beerus Inuis, Universe 7 Destroyer, and Angel. I think that one's one of the better ones. And then uh, Brian for the rare. And then how many supers does that make for us? Six, so we should have one more. I know boxes have been averaging like uh, seven super rares roughly. Her box, so I'm hoping for Bergamo. I need that guy, and he went up in price. Sadly, uh, if he's still relevant, but I still like the card. I think he's like the great ape Bardock of the set. Justice Crush, and uh, okay. That one's not bad. That's for the uh, successor deck. It's the uh, so one of the better angels to get. It's the universe eleven. 
to the Pride Trooper. So neat that it came with Justice Crush with a uh, dispo on it. That's cool. This pack does not want to open. There we go. Got like stuck at the last second. Of all things, we get this bow. Okay, cool. <laughs> not bad. Uh, cheap card. I needed it, though. But not exactly an ideal start. So these probably have nothing in them for the last two packs. But we'll still open them. I think we'll just rush to the last bit. Yeah. Hasty Dispatch Dispo. Uh, reverse foil bionic battler ball raider sure ball raider and then uh, shin noble supremacy okay so I will put the reverses and rares aside because those are going to get really thick really quick and uh, we'll just move on with the packs and I think we will just now speed things up since you guys got the idea of what a, a draft box contains. And we're just going to show off like the super rare. I'm still going to like show each pack opening for the rare and what have you. But it's going to be much quicker. You'll see what I mean. pretty things to look at we will lay them out better in the foreground before we get started all right now let's get to cracking okay so that is our rear and our reverse we're just going to set these aside like I said I forgot to separate these though, that's my fault. So I can make my stacks more even. Okay, there we go, reverse and foils. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this opening. I know I don't do a bunch of Dragon Ball content uh, most of the time because whenever I buy boxes and what have you, it's generally at a local game store Hey, Bergamo. <laughs> Very nice. That's a good start. So, you usually won't see it because I buy, like, at the time when I'm at a game store, I'll pick up a box because I support my local game stores. Open it there, and you don't want to make trades and what have you. Um, so, that's part of the reason. Here we have a... Reb... Reb... Rebenna Rar? Sure. And a uh, Big Armor. That is a weird name. Why couldn't they just call him like Robin or something? Hey, uh, she's good. That's a really nice uh, card to get. I looked at her before, and I remember whenever it was a cheap card, it was like three bucks, I think. And I was like, this card's going to go up in price because it's good. I didn't buy any, and I should have. Should have trusted my inner voice. Okay, uh, Basil, not one of the better uh, super rares you can get, but not terrible either. Although I don't think that's the worst one of the brothers. But I mean, if you like doggos. Okay, eternal, internal energy shift and no foil in that pack. Like I said, the second half of this video, I'm going to try and speed along a lot more. So this isn't a 30 minute video. Uh, because Dragon Ball products take longer to open. Ron, Ribrian, but uh, thank you, Box. <laughs> I have my playset. Uh, I got them before they went up in price. Because I knew they were going to. 
So I weighed it whenever they tanked and then they shot back up. So and now they're kind of falling a little bit, but they're still uh, well above of what I paid for them. So I'm like, I'm going to need this card. I'm not going to go through the same thing that people did with Great Ape. And yeah, it's that simple. Uh, Phantom Fist and Fuwa. Okay, uh, Dignified Supremacy. I'm sure his name is nice, but it looks like a thick I or L. I don't know which. I'm not well versed on all the uh, Supreme Kai's, forgive me. Ogma, Compassionate Supremacy. Okay. They almost look like brothers. I kind of like how Champa and uh, Beers look. Uh, Android 17 turn in the tide. Alright, other side of packs. Maybe we can get like a, uh, a God pack, you know, in the Divine Multiverse boxes. That'd be cool. Uh, Justice Crush. An auto gentle supremacy and no foil reverse. Sun Goku evening the odds. I hope this isn't, and then we have a Paparotti brilliant inventor. I hope this isn't one of the three super rare boxes, but I think we pulled four, so it shouldn't be. Uh, some boxes in cases only had like three super rares. Which is a real bad feel bad. Like at least give those boxes a god pack. Uh, Zilly Zerloin made him supporter. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's the angel we wanted. Very nice. I, I will take that. And then our rare is Enraged Eminence Vegeta. So good. That's a good start. I'm going to slide these back this way a little bit more. Let's do it like that. <clears throat> that way you guys can look at the destroyers and angels. Since the super pile is getting super big. Okay, uh, Dirty Burst, that's a good super rare to get, actually. Okay, uh, Bergamo Rare. Like I said, trying to keep the video under 30 minutes. Jiren and uh, Zerloin again, but in reverse foil form. And we're down to the last few packs. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like my content, please remember to subscribe. And uh, yeah, hit Deadly Vanguard for our super rare. I think we still need another Angel and Destroyer rare. Oh no, we need two more. Well, they come between two and three in a box. Hopefully it's three for us. Most of the time that's been the average. Uh, universe to assemble. All right, and uh, last couple of packs. Okay, there's one of our uh, angel destruction rares. It's blue, yellow. Then uh, not even a scratch for a rare. Good rare. And uh, last pack. Uh, can we get a, another super rare with an angel rare or something? That'd be cool. Um, 
Okay, so we got this. This is actually one of the cleanest ones because I think it's just energy exhaust and offering. And uh, Master Roshi to close the box up. Very nice. Uh, not terrible. Didn't pull Goku, that uh, good Goku, but that's okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this box opening, and stay tuned for more content. Thank you, and take care, YouTube. Have a good one.